channel if you're new here welcome so today I'm going to be showing you how you can achieve this winter queen makeup look this is actually part of my 12 days of SFX miss so for that I'm actually going to be showing you guys how you can make her little wreath crown it's very easy you honestly just glue a bunch of different parts together and it just works out pretty well anyways with that being said if you guys are interested in seeing how you can put this crown together and how you can achieve this makeup look then just keep watching To start off, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make the wreath crown. Everything I'm using can be found at Joanne Fabrics. So to start off, I'm going to be taking this pre-made wreath that I believe is actually used for candle decor. It kind of just sits around the candle and makes it look pretty. I'm also going to be taking these two pinecone sprigs and almost this pomegranate branch sprig. It's really interesting looking. And I'm also going to be using a hot glue gun and some glue sticks and some wire cutters. You're going to start off by kind of mapping out where you want your objects to go and I'm going to be starting off by taking the little pomegranate sprigs and just gluing them around the circumference of the wreath crown, primarily making them stick out towards the front. The area that I have as the back is the one that happens to be a little bit more sparse where there's not so many berries or branches and so I'm just going to be filling up the front area and then feel free to spike them up as you want. Moving on, we're going to be doing the same thing with the pinecone branches. I went ahead and cut off the ends with wire cutters and it was a little difficult because the wire is definitely a lot thicker and I just placed those where I wanted using the hot glue gun and it's as simple as that. Moving on to makeup, I'm going to be taking my Buckle Bunny Beauty Fringe Benefit Primer and applying this all over my face before taking my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation in light neutral and applying that over my face using my It Cosmetics Airbrush Blurring Foundation Brush. I'm then going to be taking my Buckle Bunny Beauty Cream to Powder Foundation in Mocha and using this as my cream contour. I'm going to be applying this to all of the areas that I would like to deepen or bronze and I'm going to be blending this out. Following that, I'm going to be taking my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in number 14 and I'm going to be using this to highlight so I'm applying this to the areas that I would want to brighten and then I'm going to be blending it out with the same It Cosmetics Airbrush Blurring Foundation brush from earlier. Next, I'm going to be taking my Airspan Translucent Powder and I'm going to be applying this over the concealer and we're just going to let that sit and bake while we move on to eyeshadow. I'm going to first start off by taking my Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Primer and priming my eyelids before we move on to taking our Jaclyn Hill Morphe Eyeshadow Palette, taking this Champagne Highlight and applying this to our brow bone. I'm then going to be taking this light peachy nude shade and just applying that into the crease to serve as a simple transition shade before moving on to some heavier colors. I'm going to then be taking this mauve brown and just applying that from the outer corner of the eye, creating a light V before blending that into the crease and making sure to blend that out as we go because this is very easy to start to create harsh lines and we want to avoid that if possible. I will then be taking this maroon eyeshadow and doing the exact same thing. I'm going to be placing it at the outer corner of the eye and blending it in towards the inner corner, making sure to blend as I go. I'm then going to be taking this light rose gold metallic eyeshadow and applying that in the inner corner of the eye, blending it out towards the middle of the eye before taking this darker rose gold and applying that to the very center of the eyelid. And then I'm also going to be taking some green eyeshadow from the palette, and I'm sorry I didn't get a product shot of it, and I'm just applying that to my upper lash line to add a soft liner but without taking away too much from the eyeshadow look. I'm then going to be moving on to the lower lash line, taking this light nude and applying that all over the lower lash line before darkening it up with some of the maroon eyeshadow on the outer corners. Next, I'm taking my Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette and I'm going to be taking medium and dark cocoa and applying this to the areas that we applied the cream contour to not only deepen the contour, but also set the cream contour from earlier. I'm then going to bronze up my face by taking my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and applying this right over the contour and also taking some of my Physician's Formula Butter Blush in Plum Rose and applying this over the contour as well to add a little bit more color and life into the contour so I don't look quite so dull. Next, I will be taking my Lorac Matte Blush in Tinge and just applying that to the apples of my cheeks. Before moving on to highlight, I'm going to be taking my BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlight Palette, taking Dream and Glow and just applying that to my cheekbones. I'm then going to be moving on to prepping my eyelashes by curling them and taking my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and just sweeping this through my eyelashes. Next, I will be taking my NYX Tropical Green Eyeliner and applying this to my lower waterline and this tiny detail is really going to help make this eye look pop. I'm also going to be going back into this champagne highlight color and applying that to the inner corner of my eye to help brighten that up a bit. Moving on to lips, I'm going to be taking my NYX Deep Purple Lip Pencil and just outlining my lips. Before moving on to lipstick, I'm actually going to be taking my tried and true Mary Kay lipstick in Black Cherry. I used to wear this all the time on dance team and it just fit perfectly for this winter berry look. 
For my false eyelashes, I'm going to be taking my Sugar Pill eyelashes in Toxic and just applying it to my upper lash line. I did stack these with a pair of Kiss Number no. 11s. But what's perfect about these lashes is that they have a hint of green in them to really help incorporate with the green eyeliner and the lower waterline. To glam this look up a little bit, I'm going to be taking my Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in Smoldering Satin and starting at the inner corner of the eye, I'm just going to lightly blend it out towards the center of the eyelid. I will also be taking my Skin Illustrator Flesh Cinema Makeup School palette, taking Cedar Brown and Midnight Brown and just creating some fake freckles on my cheeks. This is an alcohol activated palette, so this is going to give a little bit more of a translucent effect. So I'm going to bring it up the opacity a little bit by taking my Graftobian Pro Paint in Fuzzy Bear Brown and my Graftobian Pro Paint in Mantis Green and just flecking that onto both my cheeks and my body. And that is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel so you can see more of my 12 Days of SFXmas videos. I will be leaving a link down below so you guys can check out my playlist. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!